Hi, and thanks for coming back for episode 10 of No Labels Bipartisan Beat. This week was busy with bipartisan bills and efforts to reach across the aisle. On Tuesday, Senators Bill Cassidy and Dick Durbin introduced the Integrity, Notification, and Fairness in Online Retail Marketplaces for Consumers Act. The proposed legislation would combat the illegal online selling of stolen, fake, or dangerous products by mandating identity authentication of high-volume third-party sellers. Merchants and online marketplaces would require that they allow customers access to their name, business address, and phone number, among other information. The bipartisan legislation has already been supported by groups including the Household and Commercial Products Association, the U.S. Public Research Group, and the Louisiana Retailers Association. Also on Tuesday, the House voted to adopt a resolution that would implement 29 recommendations suggested by the Select Committee on Modernization of Congress, a 12-member bipartisan panel. The Modernization Committee was established in 2019 to review the House's operations and propose improvements that would create a more modernized and efficient Congress. In that time, they composed several proposals dealing with technology, data transparency, human resources, and staffing. Kathy McMorris Rogers uh, had a great line on this where she said, "We're Congress is an 18th century institution using 20th century technology to solve 21st century problems. Despite what seemed to be an inconclusive strategy planning lunch on Tuesday, we've seen the first signs of bipartisan cooperation regarding growing concerns over coronavirus. Following the meeting, President Trump sent Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin to negotiate an economic package with House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. But really what's going to be critical is the fiscal response, particularly tying it to keeping uh, those Americans afloat who have lost work because of the virus. The White House is currently working across the aisle to pass a public lands package, which includes bills that vouch for the permanent funding for the Land and Water Conservation Fund and the Restore Our Parks Act. The Great American Outdoors Act to me is the next step in carrying out Teddy Roosevelt's legacy, Teddy Roosevelt's mission of protecting the environment for future generations. In short, the package is composed of legislation that would support the necessary repairs, improvements, and maintenance of our national parks. Named the Great American Outdoors Act, the legislation was introduced on Tuesday by a group of senators. The package also calls for families of fallen service members to have free access to our national parks. Those are all the bipartisan stories that we have for you this week. Thanks for watching and make sure to check back next Friday for the next episode of the Bipartisan Beat.